How's everyone? It's Chris here from Tech Tablets. So I just had some hands-on time here with the Voyo Mini. I have got all the USB ports connected up now, so I have a uh, Logitech wireless receiver here. I have the Mini HDMI connected. This is the power cable. It's not the original one. I'm using a Samsung Note 4 power cable because it's actually a lot longer. The power cable that they supplied Voyo is ridiculously short. It's uh, it wasn't even actually long enough that I could plug it in the wall and have the unit sitting on my table. It was it just, just didn't reach. So that's really annoying. That's kind of stupid that made the cable that small. Maybe maybe it's got something to do with uh, charging it so you don't lose any power through the through a longer longer cable. But anyway, it's that's annoying. So having here I've got a uh, SanDisk USB 3 Extreme drive that of course is only running from USB 2 speeds here because these, these ports on them are only USB 2 spec uh, and I'm running then a um, Western Digital 1TB drive there just, just wanted to see what these speeds are which I'll just show you now so I've got all that plugged in there and uh, running through my monitor so it only outputs at 1080p which is all that the Bay Trail the Atom uh, Z37 36, uh, 35 can do. So just go through a couple of benchmarks here that I ran. Uh, first up here is the Geekbench 3. So those scores, the multi-core score is uh, around about the norm for this chipset, but I noticed that this is about 100 points less than what it should be. And the reason why is probably to do with some thermal throttling that's going on that I'll just show you here if I bring up my HW info hopefully you can see that out so it reached 88 degrees now I have actually seen 88 degrees before on this exact chipset that was in the Onda V116W tablet that I was testing out a couple of weeks ago so you can see up here that uh, thermal throttling and it's got yes 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 so it did actually throttle there. The current temperature is 66 degrees but yes it did get up to 88 which is a little bit probably a little bit too hot. It's just warm to the touch it's not like it's cooking or anything like that but it still was throttling so not the best so maybe they need to put a little bit more of a heat sink or something on top of that chipset. I'd imagine it's just got some thermal heat spreading tape or something over the top of it. That's the Geekbench score and I have been uh, just keeping an eye on here on the CPU and everything which seems to be an idle at the moment okay so these, these crystal disk mark scores here I'll just go over this one right here this is my USB 3 flash drive so that's that SanDisk Extreme which is quite a fast USB 3 drive that managed better 4K random write speeds than the actual eMMC which is right here this is the eMMC drive 64 gigabyte Samsung drive that uh, is horrendously slow actually I mean look look at this 2.3 a random 4k write that is really low that's these are the lowest speeds I've actually seen on an eMMC drive these are just uh, I don't know whether this drive is meant to be that slow I mean is that just I mean it's a Samsung you can see here it's a Samsung ECG AFB uh, but it's really slow so maybe it's reliable but poof one of the slowest drives I've ever used it's abysmal the speeds there and you do actually notice it loading up programs opening up windows I have noticed that it tends to be a little bit slower than what you'd expect out of e just other eMMC drives this speed here this was my one terabyte drive you can see there the capacity almost one terabyte and that maxed out the USB 2 speeds basically 40 and 40 uh, this one here is the micro SD card slot so we got 23 megabytes per second almost 24 and 17 18 right and just to show you how slow the C drive is um, I've just got here a Peepo W3F with me that has a 32 gigabyte eMMC and I'll just quickly swap over to that and show you that screen. If you can see here that the drive speeds that this machine's getting are a hell of a lot faster. I mean, that's got double the write rates, basically. Uh, well, the 4K is actually more than double there. It's like triple. So in the read speed as well, that's 
just to show you how slow that drive really is. Uh, maybe Voyo made some sort of deal with Samsung to get these slowy, crappy 64 gigabyte EMMCs, but that's, yeah, okay, disappointing. I'll move on from that and just show you quickly a little bit of how the performance is just loading up a website. And we'll just load up Tech Tablet stuff here, which is quite a heavy website. Okay, so that actually didn't load in too bad at all. So, general like we've used and things like that, it seems to be okay. It was a bit of a stutter then just scrolling down, but uh, as I said, the site is a little bit heavy. So, it's kind of normal there. And I will just load another page here, see how that loads in. So, not, not too bad. That's okay. And have a look and see what a video would run like through it. Just go into YouTube quickly. And for some reason it's just giving me the security warning which is very strange. Maybe it's got something to do with the, the way it's being configured and set up with the Windows 8.1 being strange. Certificate error. So that's not even, this is Internet Explorer, that's not even loading up properly. Mm, yeah, okay. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that is not good. Okay, so I can't show you YouTube. Well, let's see if BBC works, how that loads in. Now, the, the wireless speed seems to be fine. It's connected up to my router, which is a wireless N. Connected up at 150 megabits per second. And the um, signal from here is fine. I haven't had any problems with that at all. So, in terms of the wireless, that's fine. Bluetooth is working well. And let's see if there is a movie or video I can quickly show up here that's going to load. A full screen one. No, it doesn't seem to want to load. So, load this solar clip video. My internet speed is not the fastest, but that is no reason why this shouldn't be loading. So try that on a new page. Okay, and it's loading in now. I don't know what was happening there, but the video's gone blank. I probably need to install Firefox or Chrome, I think. Something's funny about Internet Explorer with this. Uh, just to go, go and show you now that it is activated, the Windows 8.1 Bing that is on this unit. So I've moved a few things onto the C drive here. And Windows just was just shy of 50 gigabytes free, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. And I'll just quickly show you that you get uh, Windows here. So that's Windows is activated. You know if you can see that, my little mouse pointer there. Which is good to see. Some of these are Chinese tablets and little mini PCs. Sometimes they would not activate because they just came up saying something about the CD key has already been used and activated too many times. So you can see there that's the Atom Z3735F running at 1.33. The maximum turbo speed is 1.8. Two gigabytes of RAM there. And I will show you the device manager. Some people are just curious to see what's in there. So we have the normal Realtek Bluetooth which is this one here. I'm not saying Broadcom but uh, I'm pretty sure that's Realtek Bluetooth because in the bars it actually said Realtek when it's showing up with Broadcom there. That's running fine and because there's no uh, real sensors it's Realtek Audio and there's really not much more I can show you here but the disk drive you can see that's, the, that's there, the Samsung that horribly slow drive. I think I've ranted on enough about that drive but yeah no it's uh, it's a shocker. Anyway I will see if I can just run a few games here. So I've just got Call of Duty to boot up here for some reason it's not scaling and stretching out to the full full monitor here for some reason it's just kept it small so it's in this little box. 
which may be suits because like, I've had trouble kind of trying to fit the whole monitor, my whole monitor into this screen here, onto the recording. So I'll just show you the settings before I get into the game and see how the Voyo Mini PC runs this. Okay, so this is 800 times 600 and I've got everything set. Basically on the lowest setting you can possibly go for, really. So everything is, it gets a 4x3, um, anti-analyzing of course is off. So it's a bit hard to make out, sorry. But the rest of the sync every frame, so I've got V-Sync on, uh, and everything else is off, normal, normal, normal. So, don't really think you can go much lower than that. So, we just now get into a bit of a game and run that. You can see the frame rate's just displayed up here. What's the sit rep on New York? The Russian jamming rigs and neutralize our air support. As long as they maintain air dominance, it's a losing fight. We cannot lose New York. Are there any special mission units in the area we can request? JSOC's got a Delta Force. Quiet. Shooters in the store below. Looks like Jamal. Watch him. Okay, this level here, this is quite demanding, so probably Stars is going to get because there's lots of breakable glass and things down here. Okay, so you can see that this is a uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, so it's running alright actually on these lower settings. It's playable. You can see the frame rate does dip down to the lower 20s there. There's a lot going on. This is a reasonably demanding game. Okay, it's running really slow here. Yeah, there's a lot of slowdown. What I think's happening now is, I think it's just doing a bit of thermal throttling there. I'll just check the temperatures now, but no doubt that's probably got up to 80 degrees, which is causing the problem. So we'll just uh, exit out of that now and have a look and see what the temperatures are. Probably not, I mean this, this kind of system is not really designed for gaming, but older titles like this, older source powered games, would probably run pretty good. So I have a look at the temperatures now, I forgot I've still got that running, so I have. So it's 75 degrees, so yeah it got up to probably in the 80s then again and started to throttle, that's why the frame rate dropped down like that. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is just quickly show some videos here. So. Uh, I have a 4K, 4K video clip here that was recorded on my Note 4. Just get the camera to focus. There we go. So you can see here that this is uh, the resolution. You can see there, okay, that's that's 4K. And let's see how this little Voyo Mini PC handles it. Let's 
it's not opening for some reason. Oh right, okay, recommended settings. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's playing the 4K video. Skipping ahead and everything, it seems to be running fine. No problem there. Minimize it and just move it around a bit. And Fraps is actually saying it's 60 frames a second there, so. Well, the refresh rate anyway. It's not running at 60 frames a second, of course. And this is a trailer here, Gravity and 2K. Should be also no problem for it. Skip ahead to a bit of action. Alright, so 2K video, 4K, not a problem. So that's what it's really designed for, to be a bit of a media machine. And side note is you've got USB ports so you can plug in hard drives as well. You could be running three hard drives off it if you wanted to and use Bluetooth at the same time and just have all your movie collection and everything running off it. Other than the uh, really disappointing drive speed here, this one right here, the rest of the actual little mini PC is quite... Good, I do like the design of it, it's, uh, it's very tiny. And the fact that you can literally power the thing off your phone charger. So if you've got a, a phone that's got a micro USB port, you can you can charge it. So let's go back and have a look at the machine there. So um, it does feel a little bit warm, but the size of it is really nice. I mean, look, that's it there compared to my uh, 2.5 inch hard drive. So really size-wise, it's it's quite small. I know there's a smaller ones, they're ones you can plug into HDMI ports now, I think, so. But they don't have three full size ports. The bottom just has a little vents on the on it there. I might actually open this up and have a look at the internals and see if anything can be done about that thermal throttling issue. Maybe it just needs like a little copper heat heat sink on top of the the chip there. Okay, so that is the Voyo Mini PC. Bit of a hands-on. I hope you liked this video. If you did too, please give me a like. That would be really helpful and nice of you. Thank you for watching. And do subscribe for more up-and-coming videos of this kind of tech. So Chinese, mini PCs, tablets, the odd mobile phone now and then as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.